guys, so today I'm going to be filming my Valentine's Day gift guide. I have a bunch of things I'm going to mention to you. If you have a new girlfriend or someone in your life that you really are attracted to or just your best friend or your mom or really anybody these gifts could apply to. Sorry, my hair was just bothering me. So I'm just going to get started. The first item on my list is this, on my list, <laughs> is the Sigma Premium Travel Kit and uh, the one that is stylish and black. And I chose this because these Sigma travel kits are probably some of the best brush sets that Sigma has besides their like full brush sets. And I really like this one because as it says, it's stylish and you can get it in a bunch of different colors. And when I first created this gift guide, they were having a $10 off sale. So I will put a comment in the description box if that still is on sale or not. But I think that'd be a great gift to get somebody. Like if you see someone who's applying their makeup with the little foam applicators that come with that, they don't really do that much justice, so makeup brushes really help pack the eyeshadow onto your lids and stuff like that. So I highly recommend a brush kit for maybe your daughter or your mom or anybody really. Uh, the second thing is flowers, and I thought the website ftd.com would be a great one because they'll deliver to your house and everything, and flowers are a great gift for, it's a universal gift I would say for anybody. Um, boyfriend can give them to you, you can give them to your mom, your grandparents, your aunt, your whoever in your family that's special to you. They just put a smile on somebody's face and they brighten up the home. Um, the third gift is personalized m and I think this is probably the most unique gift on my list that I have because you can do personalized M&Ms for almost any occasion. You can do them for a graduation, you can do them for a wedding even, but you can get them in every single different color and for Valentine's you could be like I love you or put a special date on there or something or love blah blah blah. I think it may be a fun gift and you can get them in different like size bags because for my high school graduation my mom actually ordered a whole bunch but she forgot to put them out on the table with all the different snacks and everything so that was a kind of a fail. But I think they're just a great gift. They are a little bit pricier but they'll leave a lasting impression on whoever you're getting a gift for. Um, the next thing is a bottle of wine. If you're over 21, a bottle of wine I think is a great Valentine's gift because you can share it with your loved one. And I would just make sure you know what type of wine they like. If they like a white wine, a pink wine, a red wine, or a white. Um, and if they like dry or sweet wines, those are some different things to take into consideration. And you can get a cheap bottle of wine for like $10, or you can go more expensive. But check your local wineries or your local um, beverage centers and stuff to get a good bottle of wine. I personally, personally like white Zinfandel. That's my favorite type. Uh, the next thing, I'm a little corny because it's so typical, but lingerie. Um, I won't go into full a lot about this, but I would say if you want to buy lingerie for somebody, do it with somebody you've been in a relationship with for a lengthier amount of time. I think if you're in a relationship for like, I don't know, less than six months, I think it would be kind of inappropriate because you're still in the beginning stages of a relationship. Next thing would be jewelry. Um, once again, that's kind of corny, but if you're trying to pop the question on Valentine's Day, then it would be more appropriate, but, um... I would recommend like a nice necklace or a bracelet or something and a great site to get stuff from that is um, I know there's this website called ice.com that has really nice jewelry um, I'm trying to think of others Tiffany's if you want to splurge a little bit and then you could probably go to like a local jeweler in your area to pick something nice up but I think a piece of jewelry is it, it will leave a lasting impression and show that you really care for somebody um, more of a do-it-yourself do gift would be like a scrapbook of memories. Um, I think this could apply to anybody, honestly. You could do it for your girlfriend and put pictures of you and your girlfriend together and make a little book of memories for her. I think that'd be really cute. Or you could do it for your best friend and then just put all your goofy pictures in there and stuff like that. And I think that would be really cool. Or you could do it for, like, your family or something. You could do it, like if say you're, you were a mom, you could give us your kids, and I just think it'd be a really cool thing, and it, it's good for memories. And then the last uh, thing I have on this list is perfume and makeup. Um, I would say perfume over makeup, but I, <laughs> um, for makeup, um, I know Sephora specifically has a lot of cute sets that they put out for Valentine's Day. Like I know Stila has a really cute like heart blush, and you can get two lip glazes or something. And Philosophy always puts out a lot of cute stuff. But then there's Lush as well, too. You can get, like, glass bath bombs and stuff. And they have some really cute ones this year. They have that frog one that I think is really cute. And then the Sweetheart Soap. 
Um, but perfume, I would be careful about buying people perfume if you don't know what type of scents they like. So I would definitely check out from your loved one before you would buy them a bottle of perfume. You can also get like perfume sets and stuff from Sephora, so you can give them a sampling, which I think would be really cool. Or like you can get roller balls and stuff, not just a full size, so they can just try it out, and if they like it, they can buy the full bottle at a later time. So that is my Valentine's gift guide. Um, I'm going to insert pictures and stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and you have a great Valentine's Day. I don't really like Valentine's Day, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's way too over, like, commercialized and stuff. I honestly think that if you love someone, you should be able to show them that 365 days a year, not just on February 14th. But it's just a corny holiday, so if you want to do something fun, then go for it. I'm not doing anything this year, actually, because I have school all day, and by the time I get home, it's when my boyfriend goes to his night class for his master's degree, so we won't be able to see each other on Valentine's Day, so my birthday is the following week, so we're going to be celebrating everything then. So I hope you guys have found this guide useful, and you can share it with your friends and family if they need to know what type of gifts to get. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you all very later. Bye!